Good morning. So we are going to continue with our exploration of the prana agni mala model. Prana being that which we bring into the body, located in the chest. Agni, fire, the power of transformation, of digesting, of processing. Mala, dirt, the stuff that we don't want to keep in the body. Uh, so the breath is actually a way that we bring things in, make a change of materials and release waste products. That happens at the level of the lungs and the blood supply and there's cellular respiration, so the breath is an actual process that the body does. It's also a metaphor for all the other ways that we bring things in, process them, and release. And there's trouble when we don't release the waste products. Um, could be mental stagnation or physical stagnation. Um, either way, it's not uh, good for the organism. And stagnation is the source of physical disease and mental distress. So as we work with the model today, um, make sure that the breaths in are full, so we're getting fresh supply in, and that the breaths out are complete, and that there's this alchemy between the two, that's the fire, um, where we process and we take what we need and we release all of the rest, which will be the, hopefully, uh, the main focus throughout the practice, to just keep uh, releasing and getting rid of what's not serving the organism at the level of the body or the mind or wherever in the organism something might be stagnating. A similar practice to the one that we did on Tuesday We'll do a little bit more staying in positions. As you begin in Samasthiti, I'd like you to bring your attention first to your chest. And as you breathe in through the nose, feel how the chest naturally expands. You know your lungs are in there, they're filling with air. The rib cage is a movable structure that allows that expansion. Take a couple breaths. Just paying attention to the inhale. Noticing the intake of air, the expansion of the body. And of course, through the nose is not the only place that we intake things through the body. We take in food and liquids through the mouth. We take in sights through the eyes, smells, tastes, sounds, all of our um, senses receive input. All of that is in the domain of prana. Then bring your attention down to the level of the navel and take a moment to picture a flame there. is called agni, digestive fire, but it's more than just the power to digest food. It's um, the vitality and the power to transform raw materials into useful fuel for the body. And in that burning process, there is something released left over. And that's what we call the mala, the dirt. And that symbolically and actually resides in the low belly beneath the navel, mala. When we exhale, we're releasing the waste products of respiration. When we exhale and draw the belly in, we're stimulating the lower part of the digestive system, so that can stimulate elimination. We are also stimulating on the mental level the ability to let go of things that may be holding. We'll begin with Uttanasana. Four repetitions, four breaths of stay. 
You're going to inhale through the nose, raise the arms forward and up. Notice how the breath coming in directs the fire down towards the low belly. And then with your exhale, draw the low belly in nice and slug towards the spine and bend forward, relaxing the upper body, keeping the legs comfortably straight. With the inhale, we'll reach the arms forward so you open the chest and come up. And then with the exhale, we'll lower the arms down the front, drawing the belly into the spine so the exhale is complete. Again, actually completing the respiration, elimination of waste products, metaphorically completing the elimination of waste products on other levels. Again, inhale, arms forward and up. When you breathe up, the flame is blown down towards the dirt. Exhale, pull the belly in. Bend forward, relax the neck and shoulders as you go into the forward bend. Inhale, reach the arms forward, open the chest, come up to the top. And exhale, draw the belly in as you lower your arms down. Complete the exhale, releasing that breath completely. Twice more. Inhale, arms forward and up. Fill the chest, flame, uh, fan the flame. Exhale, pull the belly in, bend down, squeeze the belly. That's going to help release the breath and the metaphorical waste products. Inhale, come to the top. Exhale, arms down. One more breath, and we're going to go into a stay of four. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, draw the belly into the spine, bend down. Feel the belly button hugging to the spine, the neck and shoulders relaxing. And now stay and inhale. See if you can fan the flame with that breath, directing it towards the low belly. And then stay and exhale. Pull the belly button towards the spine, um, helping you to squeeze the breath out and relax the shoulders at the same time. Again, inhale. Full chest, fan the flames, waist products burning up. And exhale, stay, release, relax, completely releasing the breath and eliminating the waste products. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, feel the belly hugging into the spine, relaxing the upper body. Here's our last breath in place. Full inhale, flaming, fanning the flames, burning up the dirt. Exhale, draw the belly into the spine. Then when inhale, reach the arms forward, open the chest, come up. And exhale, draw the belly to the spine as the arms come down. Be sure the exhale is complete. And then relax. As you relax, feel your steady, comfortable samastiti. And then bring the attention to the area of the navel. Picture the flame, it's always burning there. Sometimes it's strong and sometimes it's weak, but let's bring our attention there. One of the benefits of yoga practice is it stokes that flame, it, burn, it helps that flame burn more brightly. Okay, we're going to take a wide stance for the twisted triangle. Legs comfortably wide, feet parallel to each other. Again, we'll do four repetitions and we're going to stay for four breaths. When we go into the twist, we'll have the top arm wrapped around the back. Feel the prana area in the chest. Picture the flame of the agni in the navel. Observe the area where the mala resides, and when you exhale, be sure that you're pulling in the belly way down low, near the pubic bone, so that you're activating that area. Inhale, fill the chest, fan the flames, direct the flame down, burn the dirt. Raise the arms down and up, and twist down to the left leg. Right hand to the left foot or leg. Left hand around the back, turn your spine, squeeze yourself out, and inhale, come to the top. 
And exhale, twist down, left hand to right footer leg, right hand around the neck, really turn the spine. And come to the top on the inhale. With the exhale, arms out to the sides and down. Be sure that you're exhaling from beneath the belly button, low in the torso. Again, inhale, arms out and up. Feel the air coming in, the flame burning brighter and directed to the dirt. Exhale, twist down to the left side, left hand on the back. Squeeze around the middle. And inhale, come to the top. And exhale, twist over to the right side. Wrap the right arm around the back. Turn the torso. Look up at the ceiling. And come to the top with the inhale. And exhale, arms out to the sides and down, activating the lowest part of the abdominal muscles. Again, inhale, arms out to the sides and up. Fan the flames, burn the dirt. Exhale, twist, right hand to left leg. Rotating the spine, looking to the ceiling. Inhale, and to come up. Big breath into the chest and exhale. From the low belly, twist down to the right side, turning around your spine. And inhale to the top. Exhale from the low belly as you lower the arms down. Relax the shoulders, that's part of the release. Last time, now we're going to stay. Inhale, arms out to the sides and up. And draw the belly into the spine as you twist over to the left leg. Left hand on the back, turn the head and look up. Now stay and inhale. See if you can still have the sense of fanning the flame here. And stay and exhale, squeezing yourself out like wringing water out of the cloth. Stay and inhale. Big inhale to um, increase the flame and push it down to the dirt. And stay with the exhale, releasing any leftover redis residue from that flame. Two more breaths. Inhale, direct the flame down to the low belly. And exhale completely, squeeze the breath out. Last breath there. Completely exhale, and then inhale to the top. And now we're going to rotate over to the right leg, left hand to the right side, right hand to the back. Rotate around your spine, look up, inhale. Breathe the flame down towards the low belly. Exhale completely. Inhale, raising the flame down. Picture it getting brighter and burning up the dirt. And then exhale, any waste products from that burning out of the body. Twice more. Inhale, breathing into the chest, directing the flame towards the pelvis. Exhale, squeeze the belly button towards the spine. And one final breath like that. Inhale to the top. Exhale completely as the arms come out to the sides and down. And then step the feet. We're going to stay in this orientation, so just bring the feet into Samastiti, continuing to face uh, along the long side of your mat. Take a moment to relax the breath. As you establish yourself in Samastiti, come back to the image of the flame, continually burning there. Okay, now we're going to take a wide-legged forward bend, so we'll stay as we are oriented long legs on the mat with the legs wide. Again, feet will be parallel here. We're going to bring the arms forward and up. If that's too much on your back, you can bring the arms wide or just slide them up and down the legs. So make sure that your lower back is comfortable. 
Inhale, arms forward and up. The breath directs the flame down towards the pelvis. Exhale, squeeze it in the low belly, then down the center. Relax the neck and shoulders. Complete the breath out. Then inhale, reach your arms far forward, open your chest, and come all the way up to the top. Exhale, lower the arms down the front. So again, if that was too much strain on the lower back, bring the arms out to the side instead, or just let them slide up and down the legs. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, hug the belly in. Feel the way squeezing the belly will help you release out of the low abdominal area. Inhale, reach the arms forward, open the chest, come up tall. Hug the belly in as you lower the arms down the front. Two more repetitions. Inhale, arms forward and up. Keep the chin down, direct the flame down. Exhale, hug the belly to the spine, bend forward. Relax the neck and shoulders. And inhale, lift up. Opening the chest so you can really fill the breath. Exhale, arms down the front. Last one, we're leading into a stay here. Inhale, arms forward and up. Direct the breath down. Feel the flame burning the dirt. Exhale, bend down. And now we'll stay. If your hands are on the floor, palms down, you can bring your forearms uh, close to each other, or, sorry, parallel to each other. Otherwise, fingertips on the floor or hands on the backs of the legs. Inhale, direct the flame to the low belly. Exhale, draw the low belly up towards the spine, relax the neck and shoulders. Slowly breathing the breath in, directing the flame towards the pelvis, burning up the dirt. And exhale, the belly hugs in, relax the neck and shoulders. One more breath. And then inhale, lift yourself up to the top. And with the exhale, lower the arms down the front. Take a moment. Then we'll step the feet together. Come to Samastiti at the back of the mat. Relax the breath. Visualize the model again. Prana, the area of the chest, representing that which we bring into the body. Agni, around the center of the belly, the navel, representing the way that we can process whatever we bring into the body. Representing the fact that it is possible for us to be transformed. And below the navel, mala, the dirt, the accumulation. The energy that we're activating when we draw the belly in is called apana energy. It's one of the uh, main sources of energy in the body. We need to be able to take things in. We need to be able to put, take things out. Okay, we're going to do a vinyasa with the hero and the forward bend. Begin with the pelvis steady, the right toes turned out, the left leg stepped forward. And we did this just with the forward bend on Tuesday. Today we're going to add the hero. So a little bit more emphasis on the feeling of the breath coming in as the flame is pushed down or in order to push the flame down. With the inhale, arms come forward and up as you bend the left knee. Feeling the chest fill, the flame directed downward. Now exhale, straighten your front leg and bend down. 
Hands come onto the leg or the floor, wherever it's comfortable. Be sure you squeeze the breath out completely. And inhale, raise the arms, bend the knee. Lift up. Again, bring the breath fully into the chest so it can really direct the plane downwards. Then exhale, arms down the front, left leg straight. Again, inhale, arms forward and up. Bend the left knee. Lift and open the chest and direct the flame downward. And exhale. Bend down, straightening the leg. Inhale, bend the knee. Lift, open the chest. Direct the flame downward. Burn up the waist products. Exhale, arms down, leg straight. Twice more. Inhale, arms forward and up as you bend the left knee. Direct the flame down, burning what we don't need. Exhale, letting go of it. Bend forward, complete exhale, and to the top on the inhale, bending the knee and directing the breath down to the low belly. Then exhale, arms down, leg straight. One more time, we're gonna stay in the forward bend when we get there. Inhale, arms forward and up. Bend the knee, direct the flame downward. Exhale, hug the belly in, straighten the left leg and fold down, hands wherever they're comfortable. And now we're going to stay, inhale, direct the flame towards the pelvis. Exhale, draw the low belly towards the spine, complete the exhale, relax the neck and shoulders. Inhale again, direct the flame towards the pelvis. And exhale, belly to spine, supporting the complete exhalation. Two more breaths, inhale slowly, directing the flame towards the pelvis, towards the low belly. And exhale, releasing, completing the exhale, completing whatever elimination is appropriate. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Then we'll use the inhale to come up, bending the front knee, lifting and opening the chest. Keep breathing down towards the waist products and exhale, arms down, leg straight. And then relax the breath. And then let's step left foot back to meet the right. Bring both feet parallel. Establish Samastiti for a moment. Let the breath breathe itself. Let your attention rest on the plane in the belly. Agni. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Steady the pelvis. Turn the left toes out. Bring the right leg forward and square the hips. Inhale, feeling the chest fill. Direct the flame downwards as you raise the arms and bend the right knee. Exhale, bend down, straighten the right leg. Draw the low belly into the spine, relax the neck and shoulders. Inhale, bend the right knee as you lift up, directing the breath down towards the dirt, and exhale, arms come down, front leg straighten. Again, inhale, fan the flame, direct the flame down to the dirt, burn it up. Exhale, pull the belly in, straighten the leg, bend down, complete exhalation. Inhale, bend the knee, raise the arms, and lift up to the top. And exhale, arms down, legs straight, belly to spine, relax the shoulders. Again, inhale, arms forward and up as you bend the right knee. Breathe the flame down towards the dirt, burn it up. Exhale, belly to spine, let go, fold forward. And lift to the top on inhale. Keep directing the flame downwards with every inhale. Hug the belly in. Be sure the exhale is complete as the arms come down, the leg is straight. 
Last repetition, we'll stay in the forward bend. Inhale, raise the arms and bend the knees. Exhale, fold down, front leg straightens. We're starting four breaths of stay now, hands on the leg or the floor. Inhale, direct the flame towards the low belly, burning up the dirt. Exhale, releasing any leftover byproducts. Inhale, breathe the flame towards the low belly. Complete exhale to release. Make sure the neck and shoulders stay relaxed. Inhale again, direct the flame towards the dirt in the pelvis. Exhale, release. Full exhalation. Last time. Then we're going to lift to the top on the inhale, bend the front knee, raise the arms, open the chest, lift up, and exhale, arms down, legs straight. Step the right foot back to meet the left, feet parallel to each other, relax the breath. Tension in the body. Notice your awareness in your chest, the area of prana. Vital energy. Bring the awareness down to the belly. The seat of Agni, fire in the body. And then down to the low belly, the apana region where the mala sits. If something's not released after the digestive or respiratory process has taken place or emotional processing has taken place, if it's not released, energetically it sits in that area of the body. So let's continue releasing and activating that apana area, letting go as we do Ardha Utkatasa four times. Inhale, arms forward and up. Direct the flame down to the dirt. Burn it up. Exhale, draw the belly in. Bend the knees. Fold down. Make sure the exhale is complete. Really compress that low belly region. Then inhale, arms up and chest up. Straighten up tall. And with your exhale, bring the arms down to the front. Three more times. Inhale, arms forward and up. Direct the flame to the low belly. Burn up the dirt. Exhale, squeeze around the belly as you bend your knees and fold down. Relax the neck and shoulders. And come to the top on the inhale. And hug the belly, arms down the front. Twice more. Inhale, arms forward and up. Breath moving down and into the body. Exhale, hug the belly and bend the knees. Breath moving up and out of the body. And lift to the top on inhale. And draw the belly to the spine, lower the arms down the front. One more repetition. Inhale, direct the flame down, burn up the dirt. Exhale, hug the belly in, release, bend forward, and lift to the top on inhale. Hug the belly as the arms come down the front, and relax. And we come down to stand on the knees. And we can 
can have stagnation, accumulation anywhere in the body, in any of the joints, any of the muscles, um, in adipose tissues in the body. So we want to move as much of the body as we can, actually moving and releasing. Um, stagnation is stillness, you know, sinking, settling in. So we want to move the energy around the body. So let's do four repetitions of sweeping arm svajrasana. We're going to turn the head from side to side so we get to release the neck a bit too. With the inhale, breathe the breath into the chest, direct the flame downward as the arms come out to the sides and up. And then with the exhale, we bend down, hands to the back, turn and look to the left. Squeezing the belly, inhale, arms out wide, lift the chest. Make sure the chest opens so the breath can move down into the flame. And then exhale, bend down, hands to the back as you turn your head and look to the right. Complete the breath. Inhale, arms out to the side and up. Lift, breath into the chest, fire directed downward. Exhale, bend down, turn and look to the left. And inhale, arms out and up. Lift, direct the flame downward. And exhale, bend down, turn and look to the right. And inhale, lift up. And now uh, stay in the center, lower both arms down to the sides. And we're going to tuck the toes under and sit down on the heels. If it's too intense to sit all the way down, get a blanket or a pillow and place it on the backs of your heels. So we're stretching out the feet here. And we're going to stretch out the hands. Reach the arms out wide and the arms, the wrists, fingers. We're going to be releasing all the way down and throughout the body. So the first, squeeze the fingers in tight like you're making a fist. Curl your fist and your wrists inward and roll the arms as far in as you can. We'll do that on an exhale. And then on an inhale, open the fingers out wide. Roll the arms out in the sockets. Bend the wrists back. Exhale, curl the fingers, make your fist, roll your arms in as far as you can. Squeeze the breath out. And then inhale, open the fingers, roll back, bend the wrist back, open the chest. And twice more, curl in. I bend the wrist so that the fingers are tilting inward. And then open the fingers, open the wrist, bend the wrist back, open the chest one more time. Letting go of tension wherever it may be hiding in the body. Now we're going to straighten the toes out. Come up onto all fours. Four times Chakravakasana. Inhale, draw the breastbone forward. And exhale, tuck the tail. Bend the elbows as you relax your chin down towards your chest. Moving the hips to the heels. Inhale, come up to all fours. Picture the flame being directed towards the low belly as the breath comes in. And exhale, feel that squeezing out around the low belly as you move your hips back to your heels. Neck and shoulders relaxed. Twice more. Inhale, come to all fours. Directing the flame down. And exhale completely. Hips back to the heels, relax the neck and shoulders one more time. Stay in child's pose, let the breath relax a moment. And then let's move on to the back. Lying on your back like this, knees bent. Feet in line with the sit bones. Relax the body down into the floor. Relax the breath. 
Once you have the body settled, close the eyes. And bring your attention to the model again. Feel the area of the chest, prana. The area around the navel, agni. The area below the navel, mala. Bring the arms to the sides. Four repetitions of Dvipada Pita. Four breaths of stay. We're in our first uh, little inversion here, where you'll feel that as we bring the hips up, the plane tips and is pointed um, passively upwards here, rather than having to um, only direct it with the breath. So we have the breath and the position of the body combining to increase the effect of the fire burning the dirt. For this position, don't have any support behind the head, no pillow, please. A picture of the flame. In the model, the flame would be burning up towards the ceiling as flames do. Notice how it will tilt with gravity as we raise the hips. Inhale, lift the hips, stretch the arms up and back. Observe how the flame is going more in the direction automatically of the pelvis. And then exhale, arms and hips back down. Really squeezing the belly as you go one vertebra at a time through the lower spine, you're gonna feel like you're really compressing in the low belly to Squeeze and activate that apana energy of releasing, eliminating. Inhale, raise the hips, stretch the arms up and back. Direct the flame towards the pelvis, towards the low belly. And lower down with the exhale. Squeezing the belly as you come down one vertebra at a time, releasing the arms down. Keep the belly compressed until you're all the way done. And twice more. Inhale, raise the hips and the arms. Breathe the flame towards the dirt. Burn it up. And exhale, lower down and release. Now we stay up for four breaths. Inhale, lift. Direct the flame towards the low belly. Then stay in the position, exhale. Feel your belly pull to your spine, complete exhale. Again, inhale, direct the flame towards the dirt. Let it burn and then exhale, let go of whatever you don't need. Twice more, inhale, directing the flame to the dirt, burn it up. Exhale, squeeze the belly, release all of the byproducts, waste products, one more time. And we lower down with the exhale. And relax the breath. Notice the apana area, the region beneath the belly button. Hopefully you can really feel that we work it. And then keeping the attention on that low area across the belly, below the navel, about the level of the hip points. We're going to take four repetitions of apanasana. So bring the knees to the chest, one hand to each knee, and as you exhale, pull your thighs in and compress that area even more. Then inhale, 
Move the knees away so you just come past that area as you drop the plane down. Burn the dirt. And hug in again. Releasing any waist pile up. Inhale, direct the flame down towards the low belly. Exhale, hug the knees in, the belly into the spine. Relax, release all of the waste products of the burning. Soften the shoulders. One more breath. Bring the feet down to the floor. Relax the breath a moment. And we're going to do a couple more inverted postures. As I mentioned on Tuesday and briefly described just now with Vipadapiyam, when we turn the body upside down, we don't have to work as hard to direct the plane towards the mala. So this is why um, inversions hold a special place in the yoga practice. The plane automatically goes in the direction if you're doing a headstand straight up and down or a shoulder stand. As I said, Tuesday, headstand and shoulder stand, if you haven't established a practice of those two things, by the time you're 40, we're not gonna go there. Um, I will not instruct those poses um, here. We're going to use downward facing dog and legs up for long instead. If you have a headstand and a shoulder stand practice, you may do the practice. But only if you know what you're doing, please. The rest of us are going to do downward facing dog now. I'd like to give you the opportunity to stay in down dog for 12 breaths. For some of you, that may be too much. Um, maybe for all of you it's too much. So I want to think of this as four, um, three, three groups of four breaths. And so we're working with our, the fours today to make it 12 breaths. If you're feeling strong and your breath is going well, go ahead and as the first time we come into um, Dog Dog, just stay and you can start counting for 12 breaths. Otherwise, we're going to do repeating in and out of the all fours position for at least four, and you can do that each time, and you can insert a child's pose whenever you need to as well. So here's the first um, set of four. Inhale, lifting, uh, letting the chest lift as the flame is directed towards the low belly. Exhale, tuck the toes, raise the hips towards the ceiling. Feel the flame pointing up towards the pelvis. Now you can begin staying if you want, or inhale, bring the knees down. And exhale, go to downward dog. If you need to take a child pose every other one, go ahead and do that. Inhale, the knees come down. You can keep your awareness of breathing the breath down and towards the pelvis every inhale. Exhale, compressing the belly, squeezing out. And inhale, knees down. And exhale, raise the hips. So this is the fourth one. If you want to stay, you can begin staying for the next set of four. Or you can repeat the same thing we just did, coming to the knees on the inhale, raising the hips to the ceiling on the exhale. If that's too much, then you can alternately go to downward dog for one breath and then to child's pose for one breath. Like everybody to try at least four breaths in down dog if possible. Once you get to the place where you're going to stay in the down dog, picture the model. Inhale, breathing into the chest, directing the flame, which is already tilted somewhat in the direction of the pelvis. And then exhale, hugging the belly into the spine. Take four more breaths. Directing the flame towards the pelvis on inhale. Squeezing the belly into the spine with the exhale. Really make sure that exhale is complete. Picture the flame. Notice it directed towards the dirt. 
Complete exhale. Then we'll come down on the inhale, bringing the knees to the floor simultaneously as possible, inhaling down and exhale, moving the hips back towards the heels. Let's do four more chakra vakasana. Inhale, raise the chest, direct the flame towards the belly, the low belly. Exhale, move the hips back, compress the belly, relax the shoulders. Do that twice more on your own. And when you're done, rest in child pose a moment. Feel free to place your hands under your forehead. Let's slowly um, move over next to a wall. And if you want the inversion effect, you're going to get a folded blanket to put underneath the hips. And if you don't like the legs up the wall, um, you can also just place the feet up on a chair. Um, it'll give you a little bit of the upside downness of the body, even though your hips aren't raised up in that position. So we'll come in close to the wall and bring the feet up with the knees bent at first. If you're going to place a support under the hips, use an exhale to raise your hips and slide the blanket underneath your pelvis. So you want the fold of the pelvis at, or the fold of the blanket at the top of the pelvis. Arms relaxed. And then we'll straighten the legs up the wall. And we'll do 12 breaths here, staying with the image. Inhaling, directing the flame towards the low belly. If your hips are elevated, you can feel it's already going that way just a little bit. And exhale, squeezing down near the pubic bone and then allowing the breath to exit completely. Neck and shoulders soft. Inhale again. Fill the chest, direct the flame down towards the low belly. And complete the exhale, drawing the low belly to the spine, relaxing the neck and shoulders. Inhale, direct the flame towards the dirt. Exhale, release. And really start to relax in this position. Inhale, direct the flame. Exhale, and release the waste pile. I'll let you do the next eight breaths on your own. I'll be counting, so if you just want to focus on the model, you can let the numbers go, but stay with your breath, please.
as you're ready, we bend the knees, bring the feet against the wall again, and exhale, lift the hips up, slide the blanket out, and bring the hips down onto the floor, bend the knees into the chest for a moment. And then we're going to return onto the mat. If you were in a shoulder stand just now, go onto your stomach and do four repetitions of some kind of little back bend. Most of us are going to move into a twist with both of the knees into the chest to begin. So resituate yourself on your mat with the knees bent into the chest. Reconnect with the model, the prana, the agni, the mala. Twist is a really good place to squeeze out any residual holding, any residual waste products, toxicities. So we're going to take 12 breaths in the twist on each side. Using an exhale, bring both of your knees over to the left side. You can place your left hand on your right knee. Relax the right arm and then start counting 12 breaths. Inhaling, feeling the breath move down, the fire moving towards the flame. And feeling that squeezing around the belly as you exhale. Be sure the right shoulder relaxes. Inhale, direct the flame, burn the dirt. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, direct the flame, burn the dirt. Exhale, hug the belly and compress the low belly, relax the shoulders. Again, inhale, direct the flame downwards with the breath in. Hug the belly as you exhale and release. We'll do eight more breaths. Again, I'll be counting here, so if you just want to focus on the breath, you can let the numbers go. When you finish your next exhale, we will bring the knees into the center on the inhale. 
and exhale, bring both knees over to the right side. Right hand can support on the left knee, left shoulder relax, beginning 12 breaths. Inhale, breathe into the prana area, direct the flame down to the belly. Exhale, squeeze on the belly, relax the left shoulder, make sure the breath is complete. Inhale, breathe in and down, direct the flame, burn up the dirt. And then release whatever's left over. Inhale, direct the flame, burn the dirt. As the belly in, squeeze it out completely, relax the neck and shoulders. Inhale, direct the flame. Exhale, be sure the exhalation is complete. Again, here we'll do eight more breaths. I'm counting, so if you just want to focus on the breath, do that. When you complete your next exhale, inhale, bring the knees into the chest. Recenter yourself there. If you're more comfortable with something behind your head, place it behind the head. Picture the model, prana in the chest, fire in the belly, dirt in the low belly, four times apanasana. Final release. Exhale, hug the knees into the belly. Hug the belly into the spine. And inhale, let the knees move out away from the chest. Directing the flame down. Exhale, hugging the belly in. Inhale, filling the chest. Direct the flame down. Twice more. And when you're ready, we'll move out into final relaxation. Bending the legs, making yourself comfortable on your back. Feet separated about as wide as the mat. Arms wider than the mat. Palms up. We'll really give the body a chance to relax. This is the best way of releasing tension. Tension.
intention is extra holding. So whatever we don't need to be holding, let it go in the relaxation. Once the body's relaxed, you can bring your focus onto the flame. We're not fanning it with a really deep breath right now, so just a gentle flame going there in the center of the body.
prepare the body for movement. Start with your fingers and your toes. So as you wiggle them, you can also squeeze them and then relax them. And then when you're ready, extend the arms up overhead so you're reaching long, lengthening up from fingers to toes. Letting the breath move in and out in that position. And then as you're ready, lower the arms, turn to the right side, draw the knees into the chest for a moment. And then move up into a seated posture. Feel the support of either the chair or a cushion, a folded blanket underneath the sit bones. And then allow the spine to lift tall. Crown of the head towards the ceiling, shoulders relaxed down. Once the body is settled, the eyes closed. Return to the model, the image, the prana area, the chest, the fire in the belly, the agni, and the mala, the dirt in the low belly. With the inhale, Feel the breath directing downwards, pushing the flame down towards the dirt, burning up the dirt. And with the exhale, low belly compresses in so that anything that's left over from that burning moves up and out, releasing from the body. Let's do a few minutes of breathing like that. Same model we've been doing with the asana. Now just with the concentration of the seated posture, really following the image. Make the inhale full so that there's some strength to the air that's blowing on the fire that can direct it firmly downward. And make the exhale complete. Be sure you've got the strength of your abdominal muscles pulling the um, belly in towards the spine. So you really have some uh, hugging, squeezing, compression in the lowest part of the belly beneath the navel. As you're ready, I'd like you to relax the breath. So continue to follow the model, the image, 
And you'll notice with the breath relax, there's still a slight effect. The inhale still does come in. Potentially directs the plane a little bit more downward. The exhale still does move out, potentially carrying away waste product. Notice the prana, the agni, the mala, when we're at rest here. Gently let your attention move out so it's filling the body, out to the extremities. Notice any sense of energy moving around the body that you feel. Feel the body, notice where it's sitting, feel the space around you. And then slowly open the eyes. Namaste. Thank you for being here. So I hope that you found that model interesting. You know, it's just one of many ways of explaining, describing our experiences, directing our attention. So you can consider it a tool. It's something you have at your disposal. All of these techniques are just different ways of getting to the same place. Um, ultimately, we want to have the body um, Comfortable, healthy, free from stagnation, the mi mind open and relaxed and not tense. So we're trying to move in that direction however we can. Uh, so that's the Prana Agni Mala model. We'll be working on more kind of purifying, detoxifying techniques next week and the week after in preparation for the cleanse and then during the cleanse. Fun starts on May 10th. Um, you don't have to eat kitchery, you can. We'll be doing other sorts of cleansing techniques. So let me know if you're interested in joining. And next Monday, May 3rd, I'm starting a six week sutra class. So if you want to know more about the philosophy end of things, that's an hour on Monday mornings, 10 to 11 on Zoom. So. Um, have to let me know if you want to come to that also. All right, hope to see you at either of those things and um, be back on Tuesday. Thanks. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.